Here we have an anterior view of our model of the knee joint. Right over here, we have the tibia. Here on the lateral side is the fibula. These would be the condyles of the tibia. So here is the lateral condyle and the medial condyle. Here is the head of the fibula. Here we have the menisci of the knee joint. This would be the lateral meniscus, and here is the medial meniscus. This is the femur, and we have the condyles of the femur. This is the medial condyle and the lateral condyle of the femur. On the sides, we have the collateral ligaments. So on the medial side, we have the medial collateral ligament. And on the lateral side, we have the lateral collateral ligament. This is the patellar ligament. The patellar ligament connects the kneecap, or the patella, with the tibia at the tibial tuberosity. So right over here, this is connecting bone with bone. And so this is a ligament. It's not a tendon. However, connecting to the patella, we have the tendon of the quadriceps femoris muscle. So this is the quadriceps femoris tendon connecting to the patella. Getting a better view of the condyles of the tibia. This is the lateral condyle. This is the medial condyle. We have the, again, the lateral meniscus here and the medial meniscus. Here are the condyles of the femur. And you can see that the condyles as we go further up, they, they fuse and they form an, an articular surface over which the patella is going to ride. This is the anterior cruciate ligament. Here again is the lateral collateral ligament and here is the medial collateral ligament. This is also referred to as the tibial collateral ligament and this would be referred to as the fibula collateral ligament. So you can either refer to them as the fibula collateral ligament or the lateral collateral ligament or as the tibial collateral ligament or the medial collateral ligament. The patella within the quadriceps femoris tendon. So here we can see the smooth articular surface, the inner surface of the patella. This would ride along the patella surface on the lateral side. This is the, this is the facet which would ride along the medial side of the patella surface.